Mathematics has to be the worst subject on earth to be learning if you are not understanding what's going on in lesson, period. Hi, Richard here from Learn, Implement, Share. I've got a little topic today that is a little controversial, perhaps, and here it is. I am going to suggest to you that there's a lot of students who spend a lot of time in most of their maths lessons not really understanding what is going on. Right? They might be at a distance, they might be sort of looking at the stuff that's on the board and they might be able to sort of follow some steps, but they don't get it. Well, they could be compliant, they could be cranking out the work, but they don't really get what's going on. Or they're just downright disengaged and they really don't understand. There's two problems here. One problem is that if you're going to be in any subject not really understanding the subject matter, then the worst subject to be in would be mathematics. Mathematics has to be the worst subject on earth to be learning if you are not understanding what's going on in lesson, period. I got a taste of this in year 11. There was three or four lessons in year 11 where I had no idea what was going on. And during that time, I didn't like maths. I didn't want to be in maths. I despised it. Four lessons in 12 years. I'll say that again. Four lessons in 12 years, I was clueless about what was going on. How many kids spend a hundred lessons in 12 years? Maybe 500 lessons in 12 years. Not really getting it. That, that's a big problem. And I'm, look, I'm not down on math teachers. I'm not, I'm not down, I'm not criticizing anyone. I'm just saying it's a fact. And I think most of us would agree. Um, it, I'm not, obviously not talking about all students, but there's a lot of students, particularly the you know, so-called lesser able math students who are in that category. So here's the other problem. And let me ask you a question. Out of all the people in the world, career people, who do you think might be one of the least able types of people to relate to students in class not understanding what they're doing. What's a type of person, type of career person, who might be least able or very poor at realizing how tough it is for kids to not understand what's going on in maths class? That's right, high school maths teachers. We are the least able to recognize the problem. We are the least able to realize what it's like for poor Johnny who just doesn't get it. Because we got it. Now I, I had those four lessons where I didn't get it, so I had some inkling. But it, it wasn't until I was tutoring a student once, uh, she was about year six or seven at the time, and in, in working with her I realized she had no idea of place value. I'm not talking decimals, I'm talking units, tens, hundreds. And we're trying to do maths at the level of her, of her age. And I'm thinking, this is a nightmare for her. This is torture. And that was a bit of a wake up call for me. But most of us are so damn busy and, and our experience is not being one to know, we've never experienced sitting in a maths class having no idea what's going on. And yet we're the ones teaching and we've got these kids a number of them don't get it for a fair chunk of time. That's a problem. I could talk for hours on this because the next step is, well, that's, this is a rationale for teaching in a way where the understanding comes first. And of course, if you've read any of my articles, you know that I'm, I'm an advocate for stating that if we have a procedures first approach, if the, if the first thing that kids mo normally see are procedures after a little bit of an introduction, if it's procedures, 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 that's not good because most kids aren't understanding what's happening. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. Obviously, that's where this discussion leads. But it's just that thought, that realization that it's not good to have kids sitting in class, maths class, not understanding what's going on for a fair chunk of time. So just wanted to throw that in there because it's definitely worth thinking about. And uh, if you want to learn how to teach in a way that puts understanding first and procedures 
importantly, but second, then stick around. All right, hopefully that was at least a bit curious. You got something out of it. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.